Hey Collider fans, we are still here at D23, it's day two, that is the live action day. The presentation from Disney was great, everyone kind of came out, hit their marks, gave us what we want, but the main event, without a doubt, Christian Harloff, was Avengers Infinity War. It was absolutely the main event, because Marvel did this so smart, the way that they were able to set this panel up. They're not showing any Thor stuff. They're not showing any uh, Black Panther stuff yet because what they're going to do is they're going to show all that stuff at Comic-Con. They don't right. need to show it now. And that the way that they set up Avengers Infinity War was really brilliant. They had they had Thanos himself. They had him come out. Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin, and who is cut, by the way. Cut, but He's then they cut. start bringing out everybody. And when I tell you everybody, I'm talking Chris Hemsworth. I'm talking about Robert Downey Jr., um, Chadwick Boseman, um, or Chasik Bosman, as Finstock would say. <laughs> but they have all these Elizabeth people. Olsen, give it. Dave Batista. They just kept coming out more and more. Do Doctor Strange himself, Benedict Cumberbatch was Karen here. Karen Gillan! So much. And then they had Joe Russo. Yep. He hits the stage. He tells us, oh, we're going to show you guys something that we haven't shown before. And he sets it up. He kind of teases Jesus. a fibs a little bit and says, this is just kind of lead up this 10-year thing. I fell for it. Did you? I fell for it. I, I saw was, it on the screen. I was there. expecting was some kind of like... Tinkly piano, like look back at the ten years yeah. of Marvel Studios. The next thing you know, it's a trailer for Avengers. It was Infinity War. Yes, and the, the, the first, the, and the, even the emotional ten-year, yeah. uh, like preview of everything that had gone gone yeah. on in the last ten years. They show the lead up of uh, from Iron Man to everything. Yeah. It's a television show basically. Yes, this arc that we have been so invested in, and then it starts. Guardians are kind of coming into the fray, that, and I'm like, well, I don't remember this scene from any yeah, of Yeah, right, right. Thor hits the windshield, if you will, of the spaceship, and then they revive him. They say, we have a mission we've got to go on. They, they're kind of, they're kind of at first, like, who is this guy? I love that Thor is the one that brings them into it. Yeah. Makes a ton of sense. Yep. And then it's just, every we see Spider-Man. He was also on stage. Tom Holland was there. Yeah. Um, but there's a scene on the bus, and his hair stands up, and he looks out, and Chaos, Ken. This yeah. trailer, I think the word is chaos. Absolutely. Thanos is here for war, and you see that. You see as he puts the glove on, you get to see all that kind of stuff. The power of the glove, the infinity gauntlet, as he pulls the power from a planet into a punch. And you see Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. It's, it is, how do they it, deal with this? Yeah, I mean, yeah, how are they, they going to deal with it? It looks unstoppable, and yeah. that's the what the, the aura the, and, the, and the feel that you get from this trailer, that this is an unstoppable power. How are they going to do this? Now, what I'm hoping... They have set up Thanos to be this just unbeatable villain, yep. right? And I felt very similar when I watched Ultron trailer. Ultron seemed to me right. to be a formidable villain, and he really wasn't. wasn't. I think Thanos is set up to be a lot well, better. A and he's bit, got, yeah. I mean, even, even the fact he's doing the voiceover the entire time, the things yeah. that he's saying, his cool, calm, menacing demeanor is there. Yeah. I think that it was him that was slamming Spider-Man to the ground, which Spider-Man has the... Uh, there, there's right. these, I don't want to spoil it. There's something that happens in Homecoming, um, and there is something that kind of plays into it Connection, yeah. in this trailer. So I'll leave it at there because I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Yeah, uh, this, I mean, Marvel just knows how to hit home runs. They've been doing it for 10 years. This is why. Yeah. This is why they can take, no disrespect to Sony, it's, as uh, Alan Horn said, our frenemies over there. Right. They take this property and do something great with Spider-Man. You can see now in the Avengers Affinity War, they're bringing it home the first three phases. They are. And you know what was, what was lacking, and I thought, purpose on purpose in this was humor i think that yeah they, i think that it was on purpose to show as little humor as possible to show that this is kind of all leading up to this dark and dreary event thing and with this guy who is basically surrounded by death yeah and that i thought worked for this i think there will be trailers with humor in it yeah but i thought it, that's not what this trailer was all about this trailer was to say no this guy is the it, real good it start you're so right that's a great note christian because it starts with star lord being a little funny put on your mean faces where and then boom from then on out it, it's not that marvel quippiness no. we don't see it here yet no even spider-man is there like he, he there's a scene where he looks up and he's apologizing to tony where he looks like he's just been i believe yeah. it was after the slam or something like there and iron man is in despair again Captain America has a full beard. Scarlett Johansson, the Black Widow, has blonde hair now. What is happening? What's with all these makeovers? There's a lot of stuff going down with the Avengers. But, I mean, it, it delivered the same way Civil War delivered two years yes. ago at D23. This delivered here today. So uh, very impressed with the way that they set it up. Also very impressed that they didn't just waste everything by showing it here, and they're still going to give Comic-Con fans in San Diego right. something to check out pretty soon. Right, absolutely. You know, Avengers, Infinity Wars, I keep jokingly calling it Marvel's all-star game. They have all these characters in this movie. Can that work? I think just what we saw here today, Christian, it's going to work on a scale that's never been seen before. All right, guys. So 
make sure you go ahead and you comment. I also think that if you are going to San Diego Comic-Con and you can get into Hall H, I do believe that they're gonna show this thing again. I do believe that they're gonna absolutely show this thing, so get there if you can. If you're in San Diego, get on that line because this is worth watching. Thank you guys for everything that's been going on here and as far as you guys watching, commenting, liking, following us on Twitter, doing the whole thing. It's been a lot of fun interacting with you guys here. This has been, a, I think that D23, I think they delivered all the way around this year. I think normally animated has been a little bit better uh, mm -hmm. as far as the presentations and the panels in the past. I think live action took it this year, I do. I think that the overall presentation was better at live action than animated and closed out stronger than animation did. Absolutely, the crowd was engaged from start to finish. Disney has their fans. There you go, guys, thanks again. Please go ahead and comment, leave your likes, leave your comments, and as always, we'll see you next time.